Yo, what's going on, guys? Novid Player here, here at Avi Fair in VR Chat, uh, here with our second season in Neo City. Um, I have a special guest with me, as you can see, uh, one of the lovely producers here of Avi Fair, Art Holic. Nice to meet you guys. Is Art Holic here? We're having Avi Fair from December 9th to 24th. Avi Fair is a global game fair in VR, inviting avatar creators, communities, and virtual reality games, giving you free gifts. So, three things that makes all of us get excited. So, make sure you check out our world. Every day is getting updates with new events, new competitions, new, like everything. And there are like special photo spots that you definitely want to check out. And there is this like lovely, lovely hamburger join that i always go to make sure you check out that as well i'll see you here uh just a few questions while you're here um what was the inspiration behind avi fair yeah, so myself and the starters of avi fair we were like hardcore gamers we used to go to game conventions around the world to check out the newest games and gadgets but because of covid everything shut down that's that's when i started playing vr chat and checking out new conventions inside but none of them was as exciting as the real ones and that is why i decided to make one ourselves with side punch and myself and we gather a great team currently around 10 people so we're actually recruiting new members for like developers and like modelers as well as like streamers who can help us like do like a shows inside so if you're interested make sure that you dm me i'm open for my dms my discord dm is same as my name art holic so just like spam me please we're looking for new members this is actually my first time being at Avi Fair, um, and I can already tell this has gigantic uh, possibilities and opportunities for a lot of people. Um, and while th it is it's settled, it is settled in VR chat. Um, I do see also there are other VR game developers and other things. You want to talk about that a little bit? Oh, so you're talking about the VR game studios who are invited, right? Yeah. So definitely. So how i got to meet them was like by going to these game conventions right i always talk to the vr game studios all the time and they were really really hyped up to meet vr gamers inside vr because like that's like such a cool concept they can cosplay as their own characters so like if you're like a Mar mario designer you'll be walking inside a mario costume and walking inside everything and that's the whole point of like how awesome this can be so you can see like gravity league or quantar quantar is like a super mario bros inside vr gravity league is like you you fight each other in like arena like passing balls with each other a uh, next move i personally really love them you have to actually move your hand gestures to walk and jump into platforms they recently launched a game after three years of development uh i think there was like four people from czech republic from gravity league it's like from israel quantar from taiwan and there are like many more oh, also for um uh, uh, room bender room bender is like you know playing like you know shooting magic balls inside vr as well so uh, they're still on wait list they are going to be up, uh, updating in april so make sure you check that as well it's just like an amazing amazing place to be and also if you are feeling like mm, what should i wear for this event don't worry about it there are like 50 different avatar creators here giving you new different types of like you know outfits so you don't have to worry about anything you just have to be here this is a really awesome event yeah no absolutely it's definitely a sight to see you know so if you are on vr chat or maybe you don't have vr chat it's a free game install it you can play on desktop and on android as of now it does not require a vr chat plus description anymore so you, now you can be on mobile or on desktop for free for absolutely free so you have no reason not to come here and check out avi fair it's absolutely stunning to see all these amazing creators you know show off their finest craft out of curiosity how long did it take to for this season specifically how long did it take to put everything together wow that's a really great question so the whole project we i think we started planning from 2022 and we realized that this could really be a great thing uh starting from like 2023 february so starting from february we started getting our core members ready uh preparing for season one that, that happened in august with around like 30 plus avatar creators uh and that was really really helpful in terms of making sure that these avatar creators get more downloads and gum road and they were all really happy and, and after we did the very season one we realized that we helped people jump the very first loop of 
what it is like to be a VR gamer, which is, oh, what should I wear? What, what type of avatar that I, should I have? But after you get really comfortable in the avatar that you are in, the next thing that you go through is like, oh, okay, I, I'm, I feel really confident in talking to people. Are there any communities or groups of people that I can be friends with, right? That's the second thing that comes to your mind. And that is why we also invited the communities for season two. And so after that, like, when once in a while, like we go to movie nights, we go to specific wall hops with these friends, but it's not only limiting to VR tech where we can play games because we are still gamers. So that's when I realized we can actually invite VR game studios who are giving out this amazing content with us because we already own a VR headset. Let's make a full use of it by playing other games too. So uh, by leveling up bit by bit, I would say August was gave us a, a good idea in terms of inviting communities and game studios. So we prepare for season two around like three months for making sure that everything's like set up and yeah, started in December 9th and it's going to end in uh, December 24th. And for those that may not be able mm. to make it uh, this year to Avi Fair, just in case, uh, do you have an ideal estimate of when season three might hit? Every season of Avi Fair is going to happen every four months. So April, August, and December. We specifically uh, pointed uh, those dates out because that's when everyone has a holiday. April has Easter. August has summer and December we have Christmas. So we will have more people coming in, making sure they can have the like maximum amount of fun, getting the free gifts and checking out the communities and looking at the avatars. So yeah, those are the three specific uh, months that you have to remem remember to put out the VR headset that is in your storage, turn it back on and come to Avi Fair. I say we will have the uh, socials here on the screen at discord.gg slash avifair and make sure to join their VR chat group as well. Hello, I'm Ovidio Dendrino, the creator of PyCon. PyCom is a furry voice computer assistant, so that means he uses your microphone to hear you. You can tell PyCom to open apps, games, softwares on your computer or just talk with him. He's basically Jarvis from Iron Man, but in real life. My name's Toxie, but I mostly go by Tox, and I make uh, VR chat outfits from scratch that I then put together on avatars. So I am Ziver, I am the owner of the fish community. Um, the fish community is the most random community you will ever encounter in VR chat. Yes. Hello, I'm Captain Balu. I'm a contributor to Joseva's Fish Group. I found his, uh, his first his one of those three really cool sports. Booga Booga. Hi, my name is Chili. I make avatars from scratch. I've been doing so for about a year now. I make both avatars for sale and for commission, and I do 2D art as well. Basically, I try to make uh, avatars that I just think are fun or like can be at least a bit inclusive. So for example, with like my panda model, there's different toggles for body shapes and stuff. Um, I work with other artists as well to make models, uh, one of them being my fiance. I go to a few things, um, including things like Avatar Roundup and other creator things. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really, really awesome. I really love it so to meet all these awesome people that love what I'm doing. And also, Avifair really helped me boost my software. Uh, Python right now is top one best-selling software on the VR category on each.io, on the entire each.io website, and also best-selling game slash software on the furry category. So uh, people from uh, Avifair really helped me boost uh, PyCom and everyone this seems to enjoy it and I'm really really happy to hear that, to hear that people are enjoying what I'm doing and they're having fun with my software and uh, my software is making them laugh and everything else. I will totally recommend you to come to Avifair, you can also meet me at my booth or my friends right here and Everybody's having such a nice time here. We're like a nice community and everything. And you can find a lot of stuff, actually. You can uh, find game creators, avatar creators, plugin creators, and even like communities with uh, army communities, roleplay communities, and much, much more. Or just find friends to see that uh, are checking out the latest stuff in terms of VR. It's been pretty good. They're really nice and helpful with setting up the booth. 
and it's a great i mean it's a great festival it's great exposure there are some really nice vibes but you should come to abbey fair because it's a festival in vr and that's awesome and the more people will come the more booth there will be and the better it will be try on avatars and definitely check out all the creators links and stuff because everybody's awesome and you should check out mine because i'm awesome <laughs> Well, Abbey Fair is like less corporate and it's more like community based, I guess. And like, yeah, it's, it's different. It's a different vibe. That that that's all I want to say. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I would recommend this. It's a great, it's a great place to find new things that exist in VR chat. And yeah, it's it's cool for smaller communities to to hang here around, meet new, meeting new friends. I'm sometimes a diplomat and bring another communities here. Um, it's honestly been really nice. Everyone here has been like really sweet. Um, talking to Artholic and stuff, and like having a booth has been really nice. It's my first time really advertising anywhere except for um, Avatar Roundup, so it's been just a really fun, nice experience. You know, it's been a nice public instance too. Eat a lot nicer than some of the other public instances, so I really enjoy it. Yeah, I think it's really fun. So I think it's really good for uh, other creators just to meet each other or kind of like show off their stuff, like with all the little booths we have here. It's honestly nice. I've seen a lot of people interact with each other, which has been really sweet. Um, it's honestly just a nice place to talk to each other. All the creators are super kind. So it's been fun interacting with other people, especially in the Discord and such. So I definitely would recommend it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This was an absolute blast to make. Uh, I want to thank all the people uh, that were involved with the video, as well as Avi Fair for having me, as well as having me interview uh, Artholic, as well as everyone else. It means a lot to me. Um, this is actually my first time doing a video like this. Uh, if you'd like to see more like this, make sure to hit like, subscribe, all that jazz. Make sure to follow all the socials. Um, make sure to join Avi Fair's Discord and VR Chat group. They've done a phenomenal job here, and I can't wait to see more from them. We will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Deuces.